Hi guys, I'm Leo from MediaWay and today we're going to create this really cool car animation in Blender in just 15 minutes using only free assets and materials you can get from the internet very, very easily. We're going to cover HDRIs, compositing, setting up the camera and animation, motion blur and loads more and I'm hoping I'm going to give you some great tips that you didn't know before. Okay, let's get started. Press A to select everything, then X to delete everything. Right, first of all, we're going to use this great add-on called Blender Kit. If you go into your preferences, and then search for Blender Kit. So Blender Kit is a really brilliant library of models and materials. It's all free to use, and it's already built into Blender. You've got to use it, it's great. Right, so we're going to search first of all for a bridge. and you just click it to add it into your scene. Uh, we just press A to select it, and we're gonna S to scale, and we're gonna press type 20 to scale it to 20 times bigger. So now you can see it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna add is a, a street lamp. So I'm just gonna shift right click in the center of the bridge. And this will make sure that the street lamp arrives in here. Let's just type in street lamp. And here we can see in Blender Kit, and we are going to use this one here, Modern Street Lamp. Okay, that's just brought it in here. Quick shortcut, if you press the period key uh, on your number pad, whatever selected will be zoomed in to the display, so you can see it all. It's a really quick way to sort of get around. Right, let's just sort out the rotation and scale of this. reset that and we're going to scale this um, up to two times I think the size scale two and that's it and we just grab it on the Z axis G to grab Z to move on the Z axis and we're just going to move it down so you can't see the base um, now the next thing we're going to do is use the array modifier so if I just select this again um, you might have to twiddle this down and uh, press select the lamp and you can click the little wrench icon and add the array modifier. We want quite a few of these, so we're going to have, yeah, 50 or so of these, and we need to spread them out a bit along the bridge. So just spread them out till it kind of looks about right. And then I'm just going to press G to grab and X to move along the X axis, and we'll just move them so they're kind of spanning, sort of spanning the length of the bridge like that. Okay. So the final thing we're going to add is our car. So again, shift right click to move your 3D cursor. Uh, we're going to have a McLaren, because why not? They are great cars, and there it is. So we're just going to drag, drop this onto the bridge just here. Now it's loaded in, we can see it. Let's just use the period key just to zoom in a bit there. So what we'll do, we'll select this, we'll just rotate it on the Z axis by 90 degrees. So it's there. And ta-da, finished. No, just kidding. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, let's just have a look at this in rendered view. So we are going to need some light. So what we'll do, let's just change the render engine to cycles. Uh, select that to GPU. It's a bit faster. Uh, I think uh, 64 should be enough. We'll have adaptive sampling on as well, and we'll also turn on denoising. And the other thing we want to add is motion blur, so we'll select that for later. Okay, so now this is starting to look a bit interesting. So we're going to add in a HDRI now. So if you go to the world settings, and click on this little dot next to where it says color. Choose an environment texture. Uh, now, I got this HDRI from Polyhaven. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, and we'll choose, let's find, it's, it begins with a K. Let's see if I can pronounce it. Kloppenheim 02. So this is kind of a, like a starry image. Sort of a nighttime image, got some nice lights in the background. It should look quite cool. It's a bit bright at the minute, so we're just going to take the strength down to 0.1. That's it, it's a bit darker. Adds a bit more atmosphere now. 
Okay, so let's just come out of uh, look dev mode. Right, so the next thing we want to do is have some motion blur on these wheels so when they're spinning round, it looks like they're actually moving. So at the minute you can see the wheels are all sort of one object. So we're gonna tap into edit mode. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of cheat a little bit. So instead of rigging the car up, which might take a bit of time, we're just going to, see these spokes on the wheel? We're actually just gonna animate these spokes. So if I just hover over a spoke, press L, that sort of links everything that your mouse is over. That's quite good. And then press P, and we're gonna separate it by a selection. So basically everything we've selected now is actually gonna be like a separate object that we can animate separately. So if we just have a look at this, let's find where it, where it is. So if I just tab out of edit mode here, right, so it's plain 01. I'll just rename this to back rim. And we're gonna do the same on the next wheel, which is this one. So just tab back into edit mode, hover over the, the rim, press L to link it, press P to separate by selection, and tab back into edit mode. Now you can select this, and we're gonna call this front rim. So normally you'd want to do this on both sides of the car to animate all the wheels, but for, for this animation, we're only gonna see the car from this side, so it's a bit of a cheeky shortcut. So now, if we try and press R to rotate, you can see we've got something a bit funky going on. So what we actually need to do is adjust the origin of this um, wheel so it rotates around the center rather than just anywhere. So with the, uh, the wheel selected, the rim selected, go to object, set origin, origin geometry. Now if we rotate it, press R and then press Y, rotate it. It rotates around the, um, the Y axis quite nicely. I'm gonna do the same with this front wheel. So object, set origin to geometry, rotate again around the Y. Okay, so finally, we're kind of getting somewhere now. So we've got the wheels separated, so we're gonna have some nice motion blur. So what we'll do, we'll get the wheels spinning on their own for now. So the next thing we need to do is have these rotating as uh, throughout the animation. So we get some nice motion blur going on these the rims as the car moves around. So we'll go to frame one, and as you can see, we need to rotate on the x-axis. So what we'll do, we'll use a driver here instead. So we'll press hashtag frame. Let me type that right. Uh, times two. And what this will do is it'll take the frame number, whatever it is, frame 11, times it by two, and it'll make that the number of degrees. So basically now by moving the, the frames through here, you can see it spins around. We'll do the same on the front one. Hashtag frame times two, and now you can see both wheels are moving pretty fast when we spin through the timeline. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, uh, let's just have a quick look at a render now. So um, we're gonna add a camera, Control A, sorry, Shift A, add the camera. Uh, another good shortcut for set, quickly setting up a camera, you can see at the minute it's kind of just in the middle of the where the 3D cursor is. So kind of get it in your viewpoint where you want to start. And you press Control, Alt, Zero. And that sets the camera up to the exact same place you're looking from. So if we press F12, do a render. Okay, it's started to look quite interesting now. So let's just save our file. So the street's a little bit dark, so we're going to actually use, it's an emissive material coming from this lamp. So we're actually gonna to go to the lamp we're gonna click on the, um, the cylinder to get to the materials. And you'll see here, the, there's three materials been used on this lamp, and we're going to select the light material, which is this one. You see it's an emission shader. We're just gonna twirl this down. I'm just gonna set the strength up to 500. Right, that should make it a bit lighter. And now if I just press naught to get to the camera view again and press F12. Okay, we can see the street's looking a bit lighter now. That's a bit better, okay. Right, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna um, quickly, on the render settings, just change this to optics, X. I'm just gonna render it again. So, we've got our car, we've got the wheels done. 
we've got the environment set up so now we need to actually move the car on the road so we're going to select the McLaren there just going to zoom out we are going to set to frame naught press G to grab the car X to grab it on the X axis and we're going to start it right at the beginning of the bridge and press I to set a keyframe location we're going to skip to the end of the animation we're going to press G to grab it and X to constrain to the X axis put it to the end of the bridge and we're going to press I again for another location so now we've got two keyframes and you can see well let's just zoom in a little bit you can see the car is whizzing along the bridge so the other thing we're going to do, because um, at the minute Blender automatically starts keyframes sort of um, with a, like a Bezier curve, so it slow, moves slowly to begin with and speeds up. So we're going to change the frame interpolation between these points by pressing T. And we're going to set it to linear, so now the car starts moving fast straight away. So we get to frame naught. let's set the camera up next. Zoom into the car, so you can do that by pressing period on the number pad. We'll set the starting shot to be here, so Control alt 0 And where's my camera gone? Let's find the camera. There you are. And we're going to pair up the camera to the car. So we'll firstly select the camera, hold down Control, select the McLaren, then press Control p to pair up the object and keep the transform. So now, when we move the animation playhead, the camera is stuck to the car. I'm going to add some depth of field onto the camera. So just select the camera again in your viewport, select the camera icon, add depth of field. F1 should give us a nice blurry background. We're going to, in the viewport, if you click show limits, you can actually see where the focus point is and you can change the focus point by moving this distance thing here. So we'll start there and we'll push that to have a little keyframe on the focus distance as well. Okay, so now we've kind of got this nice cool blurry light in the background and the car looks nice and sharp. In fact, let's just render that. Okay, it's starting to look really cool now. Okay, so what we do, we'll set some points for animation. So we'll start off the animation with the camera at the back. About halfway through, let's move the camera around again. So uh, what we could do, again, we can use our uh, sort of viewport, find a nice view of the car. Let's move it to about the side of the car. And we'll press Control, come out, uh, Control Alt Zero to get the camera roughly in the right position. Now another cool trick to move the camera around is to hold down Shift and the key on your keyboard, it should be under the Escape key. And that lets you kind of move the camera with the mouse. And you can also control the camera in and out with W and S, forward and backwards. A and D pans sort of left and right then Q and E move the camera up and down. So it's kind of like controlling it like that. So we'll find another viewpoint. That looks good to me. Um, press I for another uh, camera thing. I've just remembered we should have to location and scale. So let's just do that on the first one. Just move that down a bit. But let's give it a bit of a, a bit of a tilt as well. That's pretty cool. Okay. So press I to update the location and scale at the start of the animation. Now, as you can see, as we move the playhead forward, the camera pans around, and then we'll do another movement at the end. So it's Shift and whatever key this is called, and we'll just move the camera around the front of the car. Let's go down a bit, kind of have a nice cool look, cool look from the front. And I might add a bit more tilt again on that. Let's just tilt it a little bit there. Okay, and that can be the end of our animation. So I to lock the location and scale. So we've got three key points now. So I'm just gonna tweak this a little bit. So here, at this point, we'll add another keyframe here just to move the camera a little bit better around the car. Okay, you can kind of tweak this all you like until you get something that you're happy with. I'm gonna just add in another keyframe again there. That's better, so the car's kind of mostly centered now. Right, so we've got a nice animation set up. 
So the final thing I'm going to do is have a look at the compositor. So let's just pull up, let's just render a frame. Okay, so we're going to just move into the compositor now. So you go to the compositing tab at the top, click use nodes. Okay, we've got a little render layers thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to add in, in fact, let's add the viewer as well. So shift A, just search for the viewer. And of course, that's what we need to do. We need to plug it in there. If you just do it, hold down shift and with the right mouse button, just draw a line across that kind of does this nice little joiny uppy thing, which is handy. So now we can see the image in the viewer behind. So we're gonna add in a glare node. And that kind of gives these nice kind of starry effects. Let's go for two of those. Um, let's just change the mix down so it's just they're just a bit visible. Um, and then we're also gonna add in a lens distortion node and we'll just add a little bit of yeah not as much as that a little bit of dispersion just to give those kind of nice little bright colored sort of speckles around the light great now what we need to do is render the animation so let's just uh, set up our output properties so find a folder uh, call it render set this to FFF FF MPEG video set the encoding to MPEG4 um, you can probably just change that up a little bit and that's it and we'll go for 30 frames a second and then press render animation. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed that. This animation can still be extended in loads of ways. You could add extra cars, we could add in other camera angles, we could do all sorts of things to make it even cooler, but I'm gonna leave that with you for now. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.